It's called Capital Spotlight. We do it every week, right before the House session. And uh, we like to visit with members of the General Assembly and discuss some of the things uh, they've been working on and give you an opportunity to get to meet some of your representatives. Today, we come to you from the East Gallery of the Rhode Island House of Representatives, and it gives me a great deal of pleasure uh, to introduce a gentleman who's making his first appearance on Capitol Television, the Honorable State Representative Dennis Canario. Representative, it's great to see you. Thank you, and thank you for having me here. Well, and, and again, congratulations. You were recently elected to the Rhode Island House. Congratulations, certainly in order. You represent Portsmouth. Um, welcome to the building, and has it been uh, what you expected so far? Everything. It's it's a it's an absolutely phenomenal exp experience. There are a lot of uh, great people here. It, it's a beautiful institution, um, and I've met I've made a lot of friends, and it's it's, it's a fabulous place. And it's a pleasure to be here. Well, it, it, one of the reasons why we like to get some of the new members uh, on Capitol Spotlight before the House session is to give our viewers a chance to get to know you a little bit. So give us some background, both professionally and personally about yourself and let our viewers get to know a little more about you. Sure, um, my, obviously I, I'm from the Portsmouth, uh, Tiverton, Little Compton area. I live in Portsmouth. Um, I spent 20 years, I served 20 years in the Portsmouth Police Department. I retired as a uh, detective inspector. Uh, from there I, uh, I ran for the Portsmouth Town Council and uh, I was uh, honored to serve on the council for six years and two of those years were as president of the town council. I've always been in public service. I enjoy public service. I love working for the, for the, uh, for the people of my community. And now I have the great honor of representing people for the state of Rhode Island. Uh, so I just, I love public service. Well, obviously with all of your years in law enforcement and then serving on your local town council, you got to meet and talk to a lot of the local folk now that you represent here in this building. When you were out campaigning this past campaign season, what were some of the things you were hearing from uh, the electorate? What types of things were the citizens telling you they wanted you to do when you were elected? Well, actually, I can boil it down to two things. Um, I, I went personally to almost 5,000 doors, um, and the, the top two uh, things were one is the tolls on the Sakana River Bridge. Uh, the people are opposed to the tolls. And the second was the, was the uh, tax, the way the tax money is being spent in the state. Uh, people feel as though they're getting gypped and, they're, and their money is being f spent foolishly. Um, so those were the two things I was hearing when I was going door to door. And I, and I, and I understand their, their, uh, their concern about the tolls on the Sakana River Bridge because it goes a lot further beyond just tolls. What it does is it attacks the economy in the East Bay. Because as you know, Portsmouth is not a so-called tourist destination, but people come to Portsmouth to do business in Portsmouth, and it's a commuter, it's a commuter bridge, so people have to go back and forth. Um, so by, by putting tolls on the Sakonet River Bridge, uh, it, it would kill the economy in East Bay, and that's what's got the East Bay people concerned. Is it fair then? to assume that that will be one of your key objectives as you get further along in the uh, 2013 session? Absolutely, I am, I am gonna work hard along with Representative Edwards who has taken the lead on this and we're going to do whatever we can to preserve the economy and save the businesses in East Bay. Because as you know, at uh, times like this when the economy isn't at its greatest and unemployment is at its highest, the, the, the last thing we need to do is, is further damage that by putting tolls on the, on the bridge. Now, um, obviously, as you mentioned earlier, you've had a life that's been pretty much dedicated to public service. But what was the catalyst that made you run for a seat at the State House, uh, in the House of Representatives? What was the one thing that motivated you, or maybe it was more than one thing that motivated you to seek a position here in this uh, very building? Well, as I stated earlier, is you know I, I've always been in public service, and I and I've done great things uh, for the town, for our town, for the town of Portsmouth, um, as far as you know the way the way taxpayer money is spent and education. I was able to be part of, of great success stories, uh, preserving open space with the least amount of taxpayer dollars possible. Um, when you look at a state this small, uh, with approximately a million residents. 
we, I felt as though I need to step up to the plate and do what I can as not only a citizen but a representative to help our economy do what we can to better this state. Well, I wish you good luck in those efforts. Uh, I want to welcome you to Capitol Television and specifically to the House of Representatives. Thank you so much, sir, for taking time to talk to us. Thank you for having me. And, and of course, we uh, couldn't do it without you. Thank you so much for watching Capitol Spotlight. I'm Dave Barber.